Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be walking you through the basics of how to customize the watch face on your Garmin Fenix 7 series watch. Now I'm going to be using the, the Fenix 7X, doesn't matter if you've got uh, one of the different versions, this video should work the same for everybody as long as you're using a Fenix 7 model watch. I'll also say there's a whole lot that goes into customizing the watch face because different watch faces can show different options for you. And then you can also go download tons of different watch faces using the Garmin IQ uh, store. In this video, I just want to show you the basics of it. So when you get your watch, you kind of know what you're doing in terms of customizing it. So if we look at my watch, I've got my watch face showing here. What if I decide I don't like this watch face, I want to change it, or maybe I want to change some of the values that are showing. For example, I've got my altimeter showing, I've got bike showing. How do we change that? I'm going to be using the buttons to show you. You can also use the touchscreen functionality if you're more of a touchscreen person. We're going to start by pressing and holding the middle button on the left hand side. The first option you should see is watch face. If you don't see that, you can simply use the up or down button until you see watch face and then you're going to press the upper right button to select it. What it's going to do is it's going to put you into your current watch face. Now if you want to keep that current watch face, you can press the upper right button again to select it or you can use the up or down buttons to cycle through all the different watch faces that you've got on your watch. Now most of these that I've got are delivered, but again you can go out to the Garmin Connect uh, IQ store and download additional ones. So let's say I want to change it to this one. Now I've got the watch face that I want. I'm going to press the upper right button. The first option I've got is to apply it. If I choose apply, all it's going to do is set that watch face that I'm on as my current watch face. But before we do that, maybe I don't like everything about that watch face. Maybe I want to customize it a little bit. We can press the down button and go to layout press the upper right button, and now we can change the layout of that watch face. So we're in the same watch face, but there's just some different views of that watch face. We can go through each of these, find the one that we actually want. So I'm going to choose this one. Once I've got the layout I want, press the upper right button, and now we've done layout, let's go adjust the seconds. This is one of the examples I was saying not every watch face is gonna show this, so if I press seconds, you'll notice that I've got a seconds display here. I can simply toggle that on or off. So it's off now, it's on. Set it the way you want. Again, press the upper right button. Now we're gonna go down to our data fields. I'm gonna press the upper right button to select data. You'll notice that my data field up here that's blinking is my heart rate. I can use the up or down button to adjust that to something else. Maybe I want steps, fours, climbs, so on and so forth. Now I'm coming from the Garmin Instinct. It's kind of interesting to me because one of the data fields that you don't have is the moon phase. So if you're somebody like me that enjoys the moon phase, you're gonna to have to go download a watch face that shows the moon phase because it's not a delivered data field from Garmin for the Phoenix. I'm gonna press the upper right button to choose that data field. Now you'll notice that the second data field is blinking. So I'm gonna go through all of these data fields and set them the way I want. So maybe on this one, I want my battery indicator. I'm going to press the upper right button. Now my next data field will start blinking. Set that to, I don't know, altimeter. Press it again. It basically lets me know that my values have changed. Actually, I think there was one that I didn't do. Let me go back through data. So top one, that one. Ah, there we go. It's the bottom one I missed. The bottom one I can set to whatever. Solar intensity, you'll notice I haven't been outside yet, so there's nothing showing but maybe I want my altimeter or my barometer. So let's go ahead and leave that as barometer. Once you've got your data fields done, if you press the upper right button, it's gonna cycle through all of them. After the last one, it'll take you back to your menu. So now we've done data fields, let's go and let's change our accent colors. So I'm gonna press the upper right button again to select it, and you'll see as I start toggling through, my accent color is changing. So I'll do that dark red, Press the upper right button. We'll go down to the data color. So now watch as I start cycling through here, you'll notice that the data fields color is adjusting. So I kind of like that gray. Once you've got it the way you want, again, press the upper right button and you're gonna just continue to go through all of this stuff. And again, you're gonna have different values depending on the watch face that you choose. Last but not least, I've got the option to change my background color. Do I want it light? Or dark and I'm gonna leave it just like that 
Once you're totally done, you'll simply choose apply. Before I choose apply, the last option is to delete. So if you have any watch faces on your watch that you don't want to even see, you don't want to consider them, you can always delete them and you can always go re-download them if you change your mind later. But I'm not going to delete it. I'm simply going to go to the top, select apply, and I've successfully adjusted my watch face. I've changed my watch face to a totally different watch face and I've adjusted the data fields and the color the way I want. Pretty simple. Again, that's just a basic video. Again, there's a whole lot of different watch faces out there, different customization options, but I hope that this gives you an idea of how it works on your Garmin Phoenix watch. Thanks for watching.